Hi, my name is Phil Topnos from Microsoft's PowerCat team. And today we're going to talk about automating the process of getting users access to your Power Apps and their underlying components, whether that's a SharePoint list or uh, Dataverse data as well. And so just to give you an idea of what that looks like, here's an example of an, access, an action. We're going to use Active Directory's identity government, governance features to create an access package. And then that, that is presented to the user through this My Access site. They simply request access to it, go through the process, and then behind the scenes, this will give them access to the app and the underlying components. We're gonna do two apps. This first one here is gonna be pretty simple. Here we have a Canvas app based upon a SharePoint list. And so what we need to do is we need to give this user access to both the Canvas app and the underlying data. Now we're gonna do this through an Active Directory security group. And so we're gonna create a group, share that with both the Canvas app or share the Canvas app with that group and share the SharePoint list with that group. And then really what we need to do is we just need to make this person a member of this group and they'll have access to the app and the data. But we're not gonna do that directly through AD. We're gonna use access packages. And so myaccess.microsoft.com, Nadine can come in and request access for this site via, that site via my access. And then once it's approved, if it has approval or whenever it's processed, that will then add her as a member to that group and then complete the process. And so through requesting here, once this is done, she'll have access to the app and the data. All right, so let's start with a relatively simple app. I'm gonna use this, uh, this environment here. When I'm full screen, I'm an administrative user. And then we're gonna use uh, this person here who's gonna be on the right side of my screen. This is Nadine, new user. And we're gonna give her access, we're gonna automate her access to this app. And the app I'm gonna use is a simple Canvas app based upon this SharePoint list. So this SharePoint list is very simple, just three screen Canvas app. And if we look here, if we see, uh, if we try to get Nadine to access this app, we see that here, let's, let's try to get her into the list, the SharePoint list, access denied, and the same on the app. If we uh, load up the app as her, we see that she also has no access to the app. So we're gonna automate that using access packages. And if I come in here, here she is in Active Directory. We see that she's a member of no groups and she only has a single license. She has an Office 365 license, so that's giving her the kind of Office 365 or Microsoft 365 level access to Power Apps. Now, as we saw in that diagram, everything is based upon a security group. So let's go create a new security group that we're gonna to use to drive access to this. And so this is our travel app. So we're gonna call this group uh, Travel App Access. Travel App Access. And uh, let's go in here and let's, uh, let's create this group. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna share the app with that group and we're gonna share the SharePoint site with that group. And so here for our travel app, let's go in and share this. Travel App Access. And then it's warning us that we need to give access to SharePoint. So we're gonna do that next. And we're gonna do that by coming in here and let's open up the list permissions. So we'll go into list settings. And then permissions for this list. Now this list is set up so it doesn't inherit from the parent. So we're gonna to have to give explicit uh, permission into this. And so we'll do that through grant permission. So in here, we'll add that travel app access group that we just created. And we're gonna grant them uh, edit permissions. Now, of course, Nadine is not yet in this group yet, so this won't grant her access to this. So if we come back to Nadine, new user here, right, she still, uh, she still has access denied for the app. And if we try to get her into the, site, the SharePoint site, she also doesn't have access. And so we're gonna build uh, an, an access package that's gonna allow her to use the My Access site to request access to this group. And then now because of those other permissions we set, it will give her access to both the app, which has been shared with that group, and the SharePoint site. And so we'll do that here by coming into Active Directory. And then under Identity Governance, we're gonna create an access package. And so we'll call this uh, access to the travel approval site. And say, uh, quest here if you think you're going to travel, <laughs> as if. 
Uh, there's different catalogs and some other things in here. I'm just going to focus on kind of going through this one. This one's going to be a simpler one. The next one's going to is going to kind of exercise some more of these things. And so here we've got SharePoint sites. We're not using that because we're working with a specific list that's shared with a group, but we are going to use groups and teams. And so in here, um, I'm just going to search for all. Let's go into that travel app access. And so we're going to basically, that's going to be the group that when someone passes through this access package that they're going to get access to. And we're going to make them a member. This is only for people in our directory. Uh, we're not going to do require approval. We are going to enable new requests. This isn't just for renewals. We could do some additional questions here, which we're going to not do this time. And then assignments expire for 365 days. Uh, we're not going to do periodic reviews, but we'll talk about that in the next one. And then it's telling me that I have one problem here. Users who can request access. Oh, all members, right? Okay. Excluding guests. And now we should be able to create this. So now our access package is created successfully. And if I come back here as my admin uh, user, I should be able to refresh this and now I see it available. But let's come in as Nadine. And so if we refresh access packages for her, She could request access to the travel approval site. So say, uh, I need it. And then we'll submit. So now what this is going to do then is this is going to uh, process her. It's going to take a couple minutes here and we'll be able to then see her added to that group. And then that should enable all the other capabilities as well. So if we refresh this quickly here. We see that it's going to go from status submitted to status delivering. And then it'll go to delivered. And that'll be mean that she's been put inside that group. So refreshing again. We see that this has been delivered. And so if we come back here to Active Directory, we should be able to come back into the list of groups. And we look at that travel access group. Travel. And we see that there's one member in it. And so that... That action of doing that app access package has added Nadine new user into this group. And so through that then, she should now have access to both the SharePoint site. So let's test that. There it is. And most importantly to the Canvas app. Now, if you do get an error on the SharePoint side, if you're doing this in quick succession, you may need to log out as Nadine to log back in just to kind of make sure that it catches, uh, catches the changes. So this is a simple example of how uh, we could use this app access to get someone access to uh, both the SharePoint site and the Canvas app that, that uses it. Uh, next, let's do a more sophisticated example. This app is a little more complex than the last one. We have a Canvas app that uses Dataverse data and a model-driven app. So these are premium apps. So we'll also need to grant Nadine licensing as part, premium licenses as part of the access package. And so overall, what she'll need is she'll need a premium license. And then what we'll do is we'll share the app with the group and that will grant access to a security role. So that security role then is how the model-driven app is shared and also grants access to the data. Now this Dataverse environment is also shared with a security group. And so that grants environment access so that she could even receive all of the others. And so we're going to give also use the environment access group and get her access to the environment as part of this access package. And so what that looks like is we're going to use the environment access security group. And then we're going to create an app access security group in Active Directory. We're going to share the Canvas app with that. And the process of sharing will also grant the security role that we need. And then we're going to grant licenses to this security group so that all of its members will get a premium license. And so just by give, putting Nadine in this group, she'll get the premium license she needs for this app. We're going to create an access package for that. And we're also going to require approval because we're granting premium licenses. We want to make sure it goes through some sort of approval. And then once it's approved, she'll get added to both of these groups, which will then make everything to the right-hand side work. Let's start by looking at the app that we're going to give Nadine access to. This is my Catfisher app. It's built on top of Dataverse data. 
And what it does, is it downloads an image of a cat from this cat does not exist, an AI generated image of a cat. You can give it a name and uh, rate the cat, and then it's gonna add it to the database and put it in the gallery and all that. Now with this then comes uh, a model driven app, which is our catalog and allows us to uh, you know maintain these records. I don't know why we would need to do that, but that's what it does. Uh, and so we're going to give Nadine access to both of these apps. And so that involves giving her access to a premium license as well as a Dataverse security role. Now, this particular uh, environment also has a security group controlling it. So in this case, only the people in this security group are going to get access to this environment and will only be the ones that can get availability, can be available to receive a security role. And if we look here, in particular, if we look at the users in this particular environment, we'll notice that Nadine is not in there because she's not yet in that group. And so part of the process we're going to do is we're going to add her, uh, add her into that group so that she gets access to this environment. So let's start by doing the separate group, by creating the separate group that's going to give us access to uh, the cat fisher. So cat fisher uh, access group is what we're going to call this. And now what we're going to do is for this group, we're going to assign this group a license. So all the members of this group will automatically be given a premium license. So I'm going to go over to licenses here and I'm going to create a new assignment for a premium Power Apps license. And so now when Nadine is added to this group through the My Access portal, she'll be granted a premium, a premium license as well. And then let's come back and let's share the Catfisher Canvas app here with that same group. So we'll add the group and now we're going to also give it a security role. And so this will automatically give anyone that is a sh shared this app. In this case, everyone in this group is going to give them the catfisher security role, the role that gives access to the custom tables that I've created for this app. Now we'll do the same thing for the model driven app too. So for the catalog, So now let's go in and uh, make sure that this app is shared with the Catfisher security role. And so that'll automatically share the model-driven app with anyone that has that role. Sharing works a little bit differently with model-driven apps. And it also makes sure they have access data to the Dataverse records that are shared by the Catfisher role. So now let's go in and create our access package. And so we'll come here to Active Directory into Identity Governance. And we'll create an access package. So this one we'll call Catfisher Access. Uh, description, I love cats. Let me in. And then we're gonna give access to two groups. The, the, Dataverse, um, the Dataverse security group that gives you access to the environment as well as the, uh, the Catfisher group. So it's the Catfisher Access group. We'll give her the license and uh, access to the, the apps. And then we'll also do the uh, security group for this particular environment, which is CDS demo access group. So let's look for CDS demo access group. And so that's gonna add her into both of those groups. Next, let's look at requests. This is gonna be four users in our directory. We're gonna allow all members to do this. We are gonna require approval. We're gonna give it to her manager as a prover. I'm her manager, it makes it pretty easy. But as a fallback too, for anyone that doesn't have a manager, we're gonna send them to me as well. Uh, the decision has to be made in 14 days. The prover uh, does not have to justify it. And we're gonna enable this for both new requests as well as uh, renewals. Let's also add a, a question here for the people requesting access. We'll say, how great is Power Apps? And it's gonna be a multiple choice. And uh, we're gonna say the choices are fantastic and life-changing. And then just to be fair, we're gonna add a third option, which is all of the above. Right, we wanna be uh, balanced. And that's a required question, of course. 
Now for life cycle, we can have this expire after a certain period of time, it's default set to a year or a certain date, and we can require auditing. So let's require auditing uh, every quarter, and we've got uh, 25 days to do that. So it's gonna start on, uh, start today, and so what's gonna happen is they can do a self review, they'll, get a, they'll be contacted and they'll say, are you still using this? Or we can have specific reviewers go through and add it. And so that makes sure that the license is still being used. Uh, although, you know, hopefully the person, if they left the organization or something like that would be removed from Active Directory, which would remove it as well. And so now let's create this. And let's see, we've got an error here. Ah, right. They're gonna be members of both of these groups. Now let's create it. So now let's come back in as Nadine. Now just to confirm, right, let's verify that Nadine doesn't have access to either one of these uh, apps. So there's our Canvas app. Nope, should have a license. And then let's try the model-driven app. All right, yep, she's not in the environment access group either. All right, so that's good. So now let's go into my access as Nadine. We'll go to access packages and we'll use catfisher access. How great is power apps? We're going to say it's uh, both fantastic and life changing and say, I really do like cats. And then we'll submit. When she refreshes, Precious Nadine can see that this is pending approval, right? So she knows why she's waiting. See the details of her request as well. And so when I come in as her approver, when I come here, I've now got one approval waiting for me. So see Nadine, new, new user. She definitely likes cats. And so we're going to approve this. So now she's been approved and on her side, we should start seeing this go through delivering and then delivered like the last one. So now we see it's delivered. And so if we come back in here into the two groups, we will see that Nadine has been added to both the uh, CDS demo access group. And there she is. And then also the one that we made specifically for the, uh, the Catfisher access group. And there she is. Now the CDS demo access group is gonna give her access to the environment Now, before it can take a, a few minutes, five or ten minutes before they show up in this list, and so uh, we'll just uh, go on pause here, maybe do a little bit of work uh, while we wait out that ten minutes, and then once we see her in this list, we'll uh, we'll check out her access. Well, that was great. Nadine, new user is already in our, in our environment, so now let's go in back in as Nadine and open the app as her. So we open it, let's grab the uh, URL to the model-driven app. And we see she now has access to the model-driven app. And let's do the same for the Canvas app. And we see that now she now has access to the Canvas app as well and can, uh, can even rate cats. And so what this did behind the scenes is it gave her not only a premium license, but it gave her access to a security role and shared both the apps with her. And so by just going into her My Access dashboard, all she had to do was go in and make a request. It went through approval and granted her all the resources she would need to use this app. 
Thanks for watching. I hope this is useful to you and we'll see you in the next video.